Hello and welcome back to Yama CPCS team. Today's topic is sex hormones of puberty. Guys, I will be explaining um, regarding the FSH, LH, uh, then uh, DNRH secretion, the loop, you know. Okay. So before starting this, I would request you to subscribe to our channel. Tell your friends about our channel. That's uh, all on our log. There are plenty of videos we are uploading on. Uh, MRC PCH part 1 examination just go through once at least definitely you will remember a lot and definitely you will do best in your upcoming examinations okay guys let me start with this okay this is the basic what you need to know is the brain functions result in increase in the secretion of gonadotropin releasing hormone that is GnRH from hypothalamus so as you know the GnRH the pulsatile release of GnRH from the hypothalamus, hypothalamus leads to the secretion of LH and FSH from the gonadotropin cells of the pituitary gland. So this releases the LH and the FSH. What FSH does in males stimulates the testes to produce sperm. In females stimulates the development of the follicles and the secretion of estrogen by the follicles. So remember about the functions of individual hormones in males and the females. That's very important. A luteinizing hormone in males stimulates the uh, testosterone secretion and in females it stimulates the secretion of estrogen okay so in male ladic cell responds to LH which stimulates the first step in the testosterone production in females uh, this LH binds to orient cells and stimulates steroidogenesis what we can call FSH binds to certain cell in the males where it increases the mass of seminiferous tubules and supports the development of uh, sperm whereas uh, uh, FSH uh, in females, FSH uh, binds to the granulosa cells, uh, uh, sorry, glomerosa cells, granulosa cells, and uh, stimulates the conversion of testosterone to estrogen. Okay, so this is very important. Okay, this is the uh, basic uh, concept. What you need to know, just whatever I revise is the same thing, but in a loop fashion. Okay, just go through once. That's it. Try to remember the functions of LHFSS. That's very important. And where does they act? That's very important. Okay. So. Okay. Just go through once. Uh, then after that. Uh, um, I will. Uh, I will upload a new video on uh, different hormones soon. Guys, uh, regarding the testosterone, uh, this is produced by a lady cell of the testis uh, and uh, it is bound to the sex hormone binding globulins that is SHBG, sex hormone binding globulin. Um, free testosterone is in the active moiety at the levels of target cells. So testosterone is then either converted to dihydrotestosterone by 5-alpha uh, reductase or to estrogen by, by the enzyme called uh, aromatase. Um, both dihydrotestosterone and testosterone attach to the nuclear receptors which then uh, binds to the steroid responsive regions of uh, genomic DNA to influence transcription and the translation. Uh, this is the important function of our testosterone you should remember. Estrogen is produced by the follicle cells of the ori. Okay, the ori produces the estrogen follicle cells. Remember about the follicle cells. Um, the the very active the active form of uh, estro uh, estrogen is estradiol that's very important and uh, which circulates bound to shbg that is uh, sex hormone binding globulin uh, and causes growth of the breast and the uterus uh, the female distribution of adipose tissue and increase in the bone mineralization that's very important okay guys uh, just go through one so thank you so much for watching my video take care see you soon in the next amazing awesome video with me on mrcpcs team